Hi there, in my previous video I was showing you how I use the capo on the cigar box guitar and I've come up with a couple of uh, other ideas I wanted to show you. Um, I've retuned my DAD cigar box guitar, uh, DGD, and then I've capoed it on the first fret so it's E A E. Think of that as being in the key of A, you've got your a5 chord there by playing the two strings nearest the floor and another E down there. And what that gives us is a kind of um, a banjo sawmill modal tuning. If I play the old tune Shady Grove, uh, you'll hear what I mean. And I think that sounds really nice, just to explain that a little bit. So you've basically got your, your drone A and E, so your A5 called droning. You're playing the first bit of the tune on that low E string. From, uh, by hammering from the open string up to the second fret, you're going from a, an E to a G. So it's like an A minor seventh. And then that lovely slur from G to A on that lowest string giving you that double A effect. And then the lowest note becomes the A. So you have the A root and you're doing the hammer on uh, from the E to the G but on the highest pitch string. See? Couple of hammers there. So from the E to the G, and then the G to the A. Back to the open E. Then we have a kind of a G chord. Because you have, uh, on the lowest string, uh, you've got G, and on the middle string, you've got D. So it's a little bit flimsy, that bit. It's not quite so strong, is it? work your way back to the, the root. So I think that really sounds nice. I'm gonna work on that work on that some more and just figure that out this morning. So basically you get your your dulcimer fretted cigar box guitar. Uh, you normally tune it um, well, this one DAD, -D, but tune the middle string down, the tone, so it's D, G, D. Capo in the first fret, so all the frets are uh, it's kind of a different order, if you like. So you basically got that minor uh, feel that I was talking about before. Uh, but then you have a, a tune in the key of A minor, or, or a, a sawmill if you're a banjo player. Let me just play your tune in normal tuning just for a moment to demonstrate my my next capo trick. Um, I'm going to play this tune which is the Earl of Mansfield and I'm just in standard DAD tuning. Okay, I'm just sort of banging that out pretty quickly. And now I'm going to put the capo behind the third fret. Okay, I've had to tweak the tuning a little bit. You often do that, don't you, when you put a capo on. Now have a listen to what's happened. Excuse the playing, that's a bit rough, I'm just sort of rushing through this. But you can see what's happened. Um, whereas I was playing in the key of uh, D before, it's come up D, E, F sharp, so I'm now in G. So it's a way of transposing up a fourth. And you've got your, the first two frets, your two big frets like they are here, you see? So everything's been moved up. Um, yeah. The only thing that's different is you've got that fairly useless note there. 
that um, uh, we're in G, so G, A, B, C, you've got that sort of C sharp there, which isn't much used, I suppose you could slow up to the D, but on the, the middle string, got a really horrid uh, note there. Uh, that note is now D, so D, E, um, F sharp, G, you've got a G sharp, which is really horrid, so make sure you don't hit that one. And of course you don't have the, 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 the what they call the six and a half fret that gives you the seventh uh, chord, you don't have that, but still you can do everything else. And it's a great way of just transposing the whole thing up at a perfect fourth, so in, in this case from the key of D major to the key of G major. So a few tricks with capos there, um, and I hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching.